Hi guys, so in this video, we are going to talk about a software design pattern uh, known as Curious, Curiously Recurring Template Pattern, which also stands for CRTP. So CRTP is one of the most widely used uh, design patterns in HFTs, like it is very extensively used in building low latency applications because it is able to produce very performant code. I mean, it is usually used as a substitute for virtual methods and it is also one of the most frequently asked design, uh, interview questions in HFT interviews or wherever like uh, people are hiring for c++ developer roles maybe for some gaming company and all but yeah like this is very frequently asked so let's look into it what this pattern is so crtp consists of class inheritances and the way inheritance is done is that you inherit from a template class instead of inheriting from a normal class you inherit from a class template and you use the derived class itself as a template parameter of the base class in case you didn't understand these two statements let's look into them in detail with the help of code example so what is happening is that this is your base class and this is a class template it's not a normal class it's a class template and this is a derived class which is inheriting from base class and you can see that the template argument is the derived class itself like this class itself is the template argument of the base class so that's what these two statements meant that you inherit from a template class so here this base class is a template you're inheriting from a template class and the template parameter of the base class is the derived class itself okay so the template parameter of this base class is this derived class itself so like this is all CRTP is, but the thing is that why CRTP? Like what are the applications of CRTP? So there are a lot of applications of CRTP, but one major application which I will discuss here is that, and which is also asked in interviews is that these can be used as a substitute of virtual methods. I mean, why do you want to use these CRTP as a substitute of virtual method? Because virtual methods are slow. I mean, I will make a separate video on virtual methods and then I will explain the nitty gritties of it. But since what happens is that whenever you call a virtual method, so uh, the compiler has to do a look, uh, sorry, at the runtime, a lookup happens using V table and V pointers and the appropriate function pointer is found. And then that function call is made. So all these indirections cause some performance penalty. Apart from that, compiler cannot inline virtual methods. I mean, in some cases it can inline, but in most of the cases it cannot inline virtual methods. So there is another performance penalty because inline methods are very fast. So to avoid all those things in low latency applications, CRTP is used. So let's see how it is used. So yeah. So what we are going to do here is that we have this base class, which is an employee class, and uh, it is a class template, as you can see. And this engineer class, manager class, and contractual employee class are actually inheriting from this class template. Okay. And as I said that we are using CRTP, so the template argument is the class itself. Like engineer class is inheriting from employee engineer and manager class is inheriting from employee manager and contractual is inheriting from employee contractual okay so this method let's look at this method print salary so we want that print salary should behave as a virtual method okay so it should but what do i mean by the statement that it should behave as a virtual method so what i mean is that if you have a reference if you have an uh, object which is a reference to the base class or maybe a pointer to the base class and you invoke the print salary method on that so it should actually call the appropriate class method to which this reference is pointing to okay so let's say if this this employee t was a reference to engineer class then it should invoke when we are calling print salary it should not call the base class method it should call the method of engineer class similarly if this was a reference to manager class it should call the method of manager class okay so that's what we are doing here like i created an instance of engineer and i call the print salary method which is this here we are uh, the argument type is like the reference base class reference so when you are calling e dot print salary it should call the engineers print salary method and similarly for manager when you are calling print salary m it should call managers method and for contractual employee it should call contractual employees print salary method okay so how this is done like we are not using virtual method anywhere so how this is done so the way it is done is using the fact that see uh, the template argument of the base class is the derived class itself okay so i know that the type of derived is uh, the derived class like in this case for engineer class the type of derived will be engineer okay so i can get the access to this engineer class like what i can do is that i have this get derived method which will actually uh, give me basically this pointer which is casted to the derived class okay and whenever i am calling like in the base class method the way we are defining this print salary method is that we get the type of the derived class like whatever the derived class is pointing to and 
whatever the derived class type is and we call the print salary of that particular class okay so what happens that uh, in this case let's say we created an instance of engineer class we call the print salary on e we come here we call the e dot print salary okay so e is a reference to this uh, basically the type is the reference of employee type so we will come in this method and this method will first get the derived type so the derived is engineer only here so it will get this will be casted to the engineer class and we will call the print salary on that so this print salary will be called and this statement will be printed okay so like this is how crtp can be used as a substitute of virtual methods because we know that the uh, are that the type of derived class is the i mean derived class itself so we can easily type cast this to the derived class object and we can call any derived class method okay so i have uh, let's look at the output for this actually so i already have this on i had already run this method on id1 on the same code on id1 and you can see that when we call print salary for engineer print salary for manager and print salary for contractual we see that the output which is printed is this engineer salary manager salary and contractual salary okay and let's also look into cpp insights like what happens at the compiler level when we did this so at the compiler level you see that we had this class template and when we had created so one thing you should remember that these class templates are not actual classes okay these are just templates the actual classes are created or instantiated like the technical world is instantiated when someone actually writes something like this like uh, uh, let's look at here when i am doing this engineer e so at this moment this base class the employee class will be instantiated because uh, here what we have done is that we have inheriting from the employee engineer so at this moment this class will be instantiated okay so anyways so what happened is this that i created an engineer object and i called print salary on this e object okay so uh, what happened that this print salary which was a template method which was a function template it was ex expanded to this that this t became engineer and the employee t became employee engineer and we called e dot print salary so when this e dot print salary is called again as i ha as i said that uh, the engineer class was inheriting from employee engineer so this employee engineer class will be instantiated so let's look at the definition of this the compiler instantiated this class class employee engineer and you can see that the get derived method is de defined like this static cast engineer and star this so the, this pointer will be casted to this engineer type and the print salary is called like this get derived dot print salary so this get derived is of type engineer and its print salary method will be called similar thing happened for manager class and employee manager and similar thing happened for contractual employee so this is how crtp works i hope i was able to explain it clearly anyways so there are few gotchas with crtp like one of the gotcha is this that what can happen is that as i said that base class is a class template and the derived class inherits from the base class and the template argument type is the derived class itself so let's say there are two derived classes derived one and derived two so someone like humans are prone to errors and they someone while writing the code might accidentally write this like derived class is inheriting from base derived one and derived two instead of inheriting from base derived two it is also inheriting from derived one okay someone can accidentally type this so what will happen that so this has actually broken your crtp because in crtp like derived two should only uh, inherit from derived two it should not inherit from base of derived one because otherwise all those things like the virtu the application of of substituting virtual methods for crtp which i showed you will not work here so how there is a trick using which you can prevent uh, the client code or anyone from doing this i mean the compiler itself will complain if you do something like this what you can do is that you can make the constructor of base class as private so if the constructor is private so like only the base class can call it all the friend classes or friend functions can call it and so what you do is that you also make the derived class the fun friend of this base class so what will happen that when someone does this base of derived one so here 
where you will have the derived class derive to constructor so you have not so here you can see that this derived is actually derived one now okay so the friend of base class is derived one like drive two is not the friend of base class and you know that whenever you are instantiating any object or anything so uh, derived class calls the base class constructor as well okay so here what will happen that the constructor of this derived class will not be able to call the base class constructor and the compilation will fail because derived two is not a friend of base class derived one is the friend of base class so using this trick you can actually make sure that clients do not make this error i mean even if they make this error this particular error they will be that would be highlighted at compile time you won't see any surprises at runtime so anyways thank you guys for watching please do not forget to like subscribe and comment on this video and i will see you all next time